going to play with some super intense synthetic pigments today as we look at colour mixes for this hummingbird. Okay, so three colours, three ultra vivid colours, Yellow Lake, Bright Green Lake and uh, Thalocyanine Blue. Uh, so Yellow Lake is diarylamide yellow, uh, Bright Green Lake is a mixture of diarylamide yellow and uh, th uh, thalocyanine green uh, and thalocyanine blue. They're all synthetic, uh, synthetic uh, dyes rendered in pigment form. Um, okay, so what we're going to do, we've got three really intense colours here. Um, we're going to keep this as vibrant as possible, uh, so I'm avoiding mixing any reds into this, um, just keeping it to the greens and blues where possible. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with some of the uh, bright green lake for this first colour. And in order to bring that down, I'm actually going to calm it down with a really vivid yellow. I don't want a lot of this in here. It's not really going to calm it down so much. Uh, it is a warmer colour going into a cooler colour, but even so, I think that is pretty much there. Just takes the edge off it a touch. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So just a, a tiny little touch of the yellow into the green gets us kind of where we need to be. Now the thalo blue itself is a beautiful colour, lovely transparent colour. But it is so transparent, it's not a lot of use uh, for anything other than glazing or mixing uh, in its own right. Now, brilliant as glaze, but what I'm going to do here is mix a very, very small quantity of white into it. I don't want to bring the, uh, the tint up too high. All I want to do here is make this a little bit more uh, translucent. So I've just been really careful with how much white goes into this. That's still a little too dark, a little bit more. Still a little too dark. A little bit more. we're there that'll do nicely uh, and then the other one we're going to use the yellow the last color this is a green we're after but quite a dark green so this time instead of the using the green and tinting it with the yellow I'm going to use the yellow and I'm going to put a tiny bit of the blue into that yellow look at the intensity of these colors these these colors really are out of my comfort zone. Very very useful for uh, taking things to the complementary end of the colour wheel but uh, right now this is uh, this is the power of these pigments in its own right. And that's just a little bit too green. Maybe we'll just add the tiniest little bit more. I mean you can see how little there is Getting added in there just to bring that down. Now we can always create tints with white or shades with uh, with black. These are just the starting points, but uh, I think that is fairly true to the uh, original colour. So I'm going to leave it there. Some potent pigments indeed. So that was a response to a comment left on a previous video uh, by a subscriber and a reminder to you that if there's any particular subjects or colours that you'd like me to have a look at, I'm very happy to do requests. Please leave me a note down below in the comments section. Um, I hope that's been useful. If it has, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, thank you, as always, for watching. Take it easy and I'll see you next time. Cheers.